So, once you're on your way with your level, you're going to want to show other people eventually. You can share levels by pasting them into the Discord, going onto the Doomworld thread, or wherever you like, and I'm going to make sure that everyone gets a chance to have some feedback. Once you're in a place where you want to see your map in context, you can also submit it to be included in the final project through the uploader on ramp.tmouse.net. I'm quite excited about this because I haven't seen this done for a Doom project before, and I'm hoping that it's all going to work and I haven't left any loopholes with which you can totally obliterate my entire server. Uh, this tool, under Submit a Map, will let you add or amend a map in the project. Once you upload a WAD file, it will parse and interpret it and include it. So to include a map, you can upload a map for the first time. Uh, we can give it a map name, uh, such as Tiny Base. We can give it an author name, such as Jeff the God of Biscuits. And now that I've got the right window open and you don't have to see me fumbling through my computer, you can drag and drop your WAD here. Let's use the UDMF version that we saved. Alright, submit your WAD. It will do some checks to see if the file you've uploaded is actually a WAD and it has a level in it and so on. And once it's done that, it will give you a success message and a PIN, which is jungle in our case. Uh, you want to copy and paste that into Somewhere Safe because it'll let you upload a new copy of the map or edit its name and author in the future if you need to. Once your map's been uploaded, you should be able to see it on the download page. There we are, Tiny Base by Jeff Biscuits, among all the other silly names and authors that I've been testing this out with. Let's download the PK3 to take a look at it. Uh, this can take a bit of a while because if the maps have been changed since the last download, it's going to generate a new PK3 in the background. Uh, that can take up to 30 seconds sometimes, but I'm going to try to make it a bit shorter. For now, I can skip this with a bit of video editing. And here we go. Let's uh, go back to my downloads. And this is our project so far. Uh, I've set PK3s to open with GZ Doom, so I can just double click to open it. There's Ramp. It said we were assigned map 18 on our success message before, uh, so we can just go straight there with a the console command. And there we go. Here's our level. Uh, we can also uh, begin the game from the start, and we'll be put in the hub map that I'm working on just now, Ramp Central. Uh, I'm going to grow this map as we go, as uh, submissions come in uh, to create places for levels, and it's going to become this big... Uh, tech base you can wander around in and uh, select your level from it. Uh, map 18, uh, the slot happens to be here. Yep, and there we go. It's now called Tiny Base by Jeff Biscuits. Let's hop in. Let's just play our map through. And this is the UDMF copy that uh, you saw me working on with the Free Doom 2 WOD. Uh, and you can see it works equally well under the Doom 2 iWOD as well. I'm just going to skip past them, grab that, and we're out of here. Back in the hub, we're back outside the teleporter we came into and we can see that's now highlighted blue because we've done it. The inventory will be reset after every level, uh, so don't rely on the player having uh, health and armor or ammunition from a previous level. They're always going to start off with 50 bullets and just the pistol. Uh, you can go back in again if you want to, uh, but the aim is going to be to complete as many uh, levels around this place as you can. At any time, if you notice mistakes, uh, you can go back to the uploader, use the pin that you were given before, and submit an amendment. So let's... Uh, Let's decide that we wanted to put another little bit of detail over here, for example. I'm going to do something very noticeable. I'm just going to copy and paste that to there. Uh, why is the local texture offset like that? You can honestly tell me. There we go. Alright, so let's save that now. Let's go back to the site, submit a map. We are going to update a map I've already added. Use the pin that we were given. I'm going to have to uh, remove these uh, pins from the pin file. That's my pin. Alright, so maybe we actually want to call it Teeny Base. And we're going to upload our new file along with it. 
Good, okay, let's download again and see the difference. Here we are back in Ramp Central. Uh, let's uh, run up these shallow stairs and go around to where we've had map 18. It is now called Teeny Base. And if we leap into it, we can see that uh, our change details there. So uh, the WOD's been successfully uploaded and updated. There are also a couple of other things that the uploader supports. I'm anticipating people mostly just submitting maps, but you can add customizations for your map's music and the texture it uses for the sky. To include these, you'll need to add some more data to the WOD, and we can do this using a lump editor like Slade 3, which I also included in the starter pack. So let's open up our WOD in Slade 3. We'll do the UDMF one. And you'll be able to see the list of lumps that make up the level. The internals of a WAD file are very much like a folder with files in it, but a special kind of folder where the names of the files and the order in which they exist really matter. So just like a folder, we can drag in new data and have it included in the WAD as well. In this particular case, the first lump that you include in the WOD that can be interpreted as a MIDI file will be set as the music to play in the background. So let's pick a music from one of my other projects. We're going to use this one. And I'm actually going to rename this to D underscore run in. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because that is the default music name that Doom 2 looks for when it starts map 01. So if I save this WOD as it is just now, and I then open it up in GZ Doom, you can hear the custom music now playing. This isn't actually necessary for uploading it. It can be named anything, but uh, if you name it this, then you'll get it by default when the WOD is played locally as well. Uh, the other thing is you can add a sky texture by calling it rsky1. Uh, I'm going to borrow this nice-looking sky uh, that's from Otex. And we're going to rename that to R Sky one which, again, is the default sky uh, patch name that Doom 2 looks for on Map 01, or the, throughout the first episode of Doom 2. So let's start it up again. And I might not have chosen the best map to demonstrate this, because you can't really see the sky except at specific angles, but you can definitely see it's got an orange tint that it didn't have before. It's also got a load of missing textures, because we didn't load cc 4 textwad alongside it. However, those missing textures won't be a problem when we compile the full PK3 together, because the PK3 also contains cc 4 text. By the way, it's a good habit to make sure that you don't have the same WOD open in Slade 3 and UDB at the same time and save over your own work in one or the other, so you might find it goes mental if you do that. I always close UDB just to make sure that I don't do anything terrible while I'm working in Slade 3. Still, let's submit this new WOD file to the site as an amendment. We're going to upload a map I've already added. We're going to use our pin. And we're going to drag and drop the new WOD, UDMF WOD, and submit those changes. All right, let's download it again and see what happens. Here's that latest edition of the PK3 in my downloads folder. So we're going to open that up. Let's go into the Ramp Central Arena. Head through our teleporter, and we've got our music playing, we've got our textures, and we've got our sky. So that's how the uploader tool works. Uh, if it doesn't work for you for whatever reason, contact me and I'll see if I can extend it or put you into the project manually. Whichever way it gets there, I am really looking forward to seeing what you can come up with.